everybody, Dr. JJ Levine. Today we're going to talk about your pH or potential hydrogen level, why it's important, how you can monitor it, if it's off, what that can do to your body, and how naturally you can get your pH level where it needs to be. Now, when we talk about pH level in chemistry, we're talking about a range from 0 to 14, with 0 being very acidic, with 14 being alkaline or basic, and right in the middle, 7, that's neutral. And when we talk about pH levels with the body, realize that different body parts need to have different pH levels for it to be healthy. So for blood, if you want perfect pH, you're going to want to be at 7.365. That's slightly in that alkaline level. The body works better when it's at that level. But realize there's other body parts, like the stomach, for example, that works best when it is acidic. So with the... Uh, Stomach, you're going to see levels of 3.5. That acidity helps you digest the food that you're bringing into the body. Now, the two body parts that help regulate your pH level automatically by itself are the lungs and kidneys. The lungs are going to remove carbon dioxide by breathing and respiration, obviously. And the kidneys are going to remove acid through urine, through elimination. And these body parts do a great job with this. And some people might even argue that you don't need a specific diet and or supplementation to help regulate your pH level because of the lung and kidneys. The body does it all by itself. But I would say this thought pattern is folly. My philosophy has always been, why do you want to make the body work harder than it needs to? I mean, in hospitals, they actually check, do blood tests to check for acidosis. If your body is too acidic, you're going to die. And if you're not at that level of dying, if you're acidic, you can get very sick. And sickness thrives in an acidic environment. There's plenty of research out there on this subject. In fact, there's a condition called metabolic acidosis. And with this condition, they tell us, science shows that having an alkaline diet, a diet that's eating lower on the food chain, that's eating lots of green leafy vegetables and, and healthy fruits, can help with this situation. So the research is out there. There's no need to even argue this. And as the body does a great job in trying to keep your body at a pH, again, why do you want to stress your body and have it working hard? Why do you want to stress your kidneys, right? If, if your kidneys are working hard enough as it is, why do you want your lungs having to work harder than it is? Why do you want calcium, a buffering agent, being robbed or leached from your bones to help alkalize your blood? So you see what I'm saying? It's very, very important that we eat an alkaline diet and we supplement. So let's get right to it, some of the foods that you're going to want to be consuming. And as I talk about these foods and as I talk about the importance of alkalinity and having a proper pH, just think logically. Think about that. That fish tank you had when you were a kid. If your pH level wasn't right in that fish tank, what happened to the fish? They died. So the environment has to be right. When you look at plants, the soil, the situation with the soil and where the plants grow has to be right from a pH level or the plants won't thrive. In fact, they might die. When you look at your swimming pool, your spa, if the pH isn't right, the pool of the spa is going to turn green. So pH is critical the environment is critical, and the inside of your body, your inside environment is critical for optimal health. Now, am I saying that I want you to avoid all acidic foods? No, I'm not, because there are certain acidic foods that are actually excellent for you, like blueberries. Blueberries are tremendous. They have very high in antioxidants, but they tend to be on the acidic side. So there are some foods that are acidic that you should be consuming. But I want you to consume a diet that's rich in green leafy vegetables, a nutrient-dense diet. Because when you're eating calories or consuming calories, you want calories that are going to be benefiting you. Some green leafy vegetables that I like, of course, are kale, spinach, broccoli, sprouts. You've heard me talk about sprouts before. And I also feel that when you're cooking, you should be cooking with fresh organic herbs like cilantro, parsley, basil. Use this when you're cooking all the time and put some of these in your salad. These are great, great ingredients from Mother Nature that can help you be healthy and help you keep that balanced pH. Now, I talk about balanced pH. So how do you monitor your pH? We have something called pH test strips. Again, if you've had a pool or a spa before, you've probably seen or know how to test the pH of your pool, spa, or even a fish tank. 
We have pH test strips for humans and it can test your urine, it can test your saliva. And then people might say, well, wait a second, you're not testing the blood, only you can go to a doctor to get your blood tested. True, but being able to monitor your urine and or saliva on a regular, easy to do at home basis is a great way for you to monitor what your body is doing on a daily basis. So these pH test strips, I recommend that you do it the same day, same time each week, maybe every Friday morning. You can do when you go to the bathroom for the first time, when you urinate for the first time, or you can test these strips uh, on your saliva. The bottom line is you're monitoring your health and wellness, just like you getting on the scale or any other way that you would monitor your health and wellness. Now, above and beyond, green leafy vegetables and a diet rich in fruits, every color of the spectrum. And again, keep consuming those berries, not just blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, all of them, all great stuff, powerful antioxidants and also great for your body in many, many other ways. The other thing that I'm going to recommend is certain supplements. I'd love for you to look at our Asante Organics Earth Greens. They have an a, a, a ionic charge to them. They're certified organic, and they have many of those ingredients that I've mentioned in here. And what a great way to supplement your diet as well as help you alkalize your body. Now, when you're alkalizing your body, when you want to see those numbers get to that 7.365, when you want to help your body get to those proper levels, the greens are so important. Also, you're going to want to consume our calcium, our omega oils to help rid the toxins from your body that are stored in the fat cells, as well as our supreme pH drops. These are the items I'd like you to look at and consume as directed on a daily basis. So those are my thoughts for today. As always, I look forward to sharing again with you real soon, as well as reading your comments down below. Bye-bye, everybody.